The temperature started to drop as the fog began to thicken. The breeze softly whistled while the ghostly being crept from her daily slumber. Night was swallowing up the day, and it was now time to come out and wonder in the darkness. Slinking through the open field, the soul came upon a secluded neighborhood just outside the bustling big city. As she walked down the sidewalk, she noted the many changes that had been made since she once lived there. This plot of land was a part of her family farm many years before. Now it was taken over by land developers and happy residents that wanted to find their own place to call home. Pearl was as restless in death as she had been in life. Her daughter had left their hometown of Kansas City to live in this small, unincorporated village of Marceline. Sadly, she had never heard from her again. Pearl wasn't aware that Emma had passed away not long after the move and that her name was now spoken as the Lady in White. As she walked past the neighborhood park, the memory of Emma pierced the place that her heart used to beat. If she could produce tears, she would have wept till they all had disappeared. Instead, the dreariness of the evening matched her sorrowful mood. Needing a distraction from the pain of her loss, Pearl continued along the path. A cluster of pine trees grew along the side of the street. The reminder of the smell of the pine needles brought a rush of happy feelings through her transparent form. Pearl loved the aroma of the evergreens when she was alive. The smell reminded her the time she spent checking the pasture fence with Emma. She remembered the sheep they had found and how they searched for days for the owner. The thought gave her an idea. She had no reason to dwell on her old place she called home. Pearl decided to go in search of her daughter in Marceline. As she rushed down the street toward the direction of Marceline, Pearl heard a rustling sound. It wasn't too loud, but loud enough to cause her to stop in her tracks. As she searched the ground around her, a growth of pompous grass began to move. Even though she shouldn't fear death, since she had already died, a small bit of fear began to creep inside her. Her panic melted away when a fluffy bunny bounced out of the tall growth of dead grass. Turning towards Pearl, with its ears pinned back and its chest pressed forward, the animal sat and stared at her. Pearl knew that animals could see her, but she felt there was something a little different with this rabbit. As they both froze in place, watching each other with wonder, a bright light began to shine around the creature. In a moment's time, what was once a furry animal was now a large ball of transparent energy. Pearl could hear a soft whisper floating on the breeze. It grew louder and louder until she was in disbelief. The voice was her loving daughter, Emma. Mother, I no longer am bound to the earth you walk. I have moved on to a higher purpose. We all have a new purpose after our spirits leave our bodies, and you will soon find what yours is. I have always stayed close to you, but now that you seek me, I can now let myself be seen. With that, a bright light took the shape of Emma. Pearl rushed to embrace the daughter she had missed for far too many years. Her sorrow was replaced with joy and delight. While the two caught each other up on their past, they strolled back into the open field where their farmhouse used to stand. Hours passed as they reminisced. Emma's afterlife was very busy and she couldn't stay for long, but she gave Pearl the best advice she could. While you wait for your afterlife purpose, enjoy every moment you have amongst the living. Help over this community as if they were family. Never forget the life we had in the past, but look ahead to what the future will bring. I promise you we will meet again. Besides, I will come back any time you need me. Alas, I must go. There is a dark spirit I have to vanquish in the far corner of our country, holding hands Emma began to pull away. As her shape began to fade away, a bright light appeared once more. As it floated towards the ground, it became duller until the light was gone, and on the ground sat the gray rabbit. As if the bunny was in shock, Pearl knelt down and patted it on the head and whispered, It will be all right. A small smile crossed her face because she knew 
that not only would the rabbit be all right, but she would be too. The sorrow she held was now gone, and she was looking forward to watching over the neighborhood of happy living families. If you enjoyed the story, please be sure to check out the books that Pearl and Emma were characters in, The Lady in White and The Lady in White Who, sold on Amazon or at jodysweb.com.